Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG, and it's time. It's time for us to take on Smithy, finally, after all this, this stuff we had to go through. Oh boy. We just gotta wait for this crane to come over so we can hop on. And head on over to... Smithy's lair. Hey! There's the last star piece! Huh? Already finished your tour of the factory, huh? Alright then. How about a little demonstration? Yo, Smithy! Stop making those things and hand over the star piece now! Huh? <laughs> so, you're Mario. Looks like we're gonna have a little dispute over the star. Just hand it over and get out of my castle! My, my, we're a little touchy today, aren't we? You know, I'm actually growing rather fond of this place. Please, don't make us go through any more. Just give us the star now. <laughs> Better yet, why don't you give me your stars? Why, then I could easily conquer this world. Then we could get rid of all wishes and create a world filled with weapons. Over here now! I'll crush you all! Ah, yeah. Well, that happened. Okay, so here we go. The, the final boss fight with Smithy. And it's kind of a two parter. We've got Smithy here himself, and we have the smelter now. Some people like to focus uh, on Smithy at first. I like to get rid of the smelter because if you leave it going, uh, it'll start spawning other monsters. And Smithy's hard enough to deal with um, without, oh gosh, without other monsters showing up. Uh, let's go ahead and group hug. Ah, I missed the timing, but that's okay. See, here we go. So he's gonna drop some red glowy goo, and now we have one of those little little guys. Sword rain, and that's not good. We don't want that either. Sledge. So, if you couldn't tell, Peach is gonna be spending the majority of uh, of this battle healing up. go meteor swarm oh gosh um group hug again that's why i like to have the um oh gosh i cannot for the life of me remember what that accessory is called okay he's smelters down let's get rid of the shiper except it didn't get rid of him at all Yes, that's exactly what I want you to do. Keep doing that. And now we can go after Smithy with everything we got. Now I do believe that um, Smelter comes back after a while. So every time I attack, I'm just kind of checking to make sure that, you know, he's still... He's still done. Yes, keep doing that. I like it when you do that, Smithy. I'm not entirely sure if, like, 
It, it, from what it looks like to me, defeating sm uh, Smelter makes it so that Smithy doesn't do his his special attacks. So uh, that that's another. If that's the case, that's another added bonus that um, I hadn't actually thought of. Oh uh, well, there goes that idea. Unless Smelter's come back already. No. Well, looks like I was wrong about that. Okay, well, there you go. No! Calm down, Smithy. Your head looks like a geyser. Don't get so worked up. Think of your blood pressure. We just built this yesterday, and the foundation's very weak. So stop shaking the floor! How utterly annoying. What? Well, that happened. Huh? What the? How in the heck? Oh, boy. Seething! Never have I been so wronged. It is time. I will show you my real form. I will show you my true power. I will teach you respect. And I shall have my revenge. No! Oh, well. That's okay. Well, here we go. Come on, you puny ants. So this is Smithy's true form. Um, he has two parts to him, his head and his body. Um, so... The main problem here is going to be his head. It has 8,000 hit points. His body also has 1,000 hit points. So... What I would do, you do want to get rid of the um, the body though, because that's a a real pain. So I'm gonna get rid of the body by. Oh, what happened to Bowser? Why did Bowser not get to go? What the heck? Did I miss something? Oh, well, okay. So the order is going a little. Oh, and now Mario's dead. That's not good. Come back, Mario. This is why you want Peach. Around. And you need a lot of pick-me-ups to keep Peach alive. Oh, well, I should have gone for the head. For the head. Oh, can't move! And it's time. Now he's got his um, his mage head. So, as you could probably guess, he's going to like change his heads around a little bit from time to time. Um, he's got how many different heads does he have? Let me just look real quick. Four different heads that he has. And he'll alternate between each one, and each one does a different thing. And each one has defenses and weaknesses. Um, but I just go with attacking for this kind of kind of thing. So yeah, just pound on his head. Certain heads are gonna take more damage than other heads. This one's gonna do more damage than anything. Arrow rain is not too bad. Group hug that peach. I would just, you know, heal with peach every turn. It's up to you. 
You might also want to uh, equip Peach with the um, Lazy Shell if you're going to use her primarily as a, um, a healer. This time, you know what? I haven't used any of these yet, but I'm going to now. There we go. Mario, keep going on the head. Bowser, take out the body. You take out the body, it takes out some... Um, oh boy. I think that's the one that... Yeah, that's the one that hurts. Don't kill Peach! Dagnabbit! That's really bad. So I guess we're just gonna have to heal up here. Don't be afraid to use all your items because you're not gonna be keeping them after this. Dark Star. That only hits one person. And it's Mario. Okay, so let's do therapy on Mario. We got the timing on that pretty good. Mario attack the head. Bowser attack the body. Spear rain. That's not too bad. Uh, so yeah, so it's just rinse and repeat for a while until he decides to change heads again. Can't move! Alright, good. So now we can just unload on um, on his head. I would really, really, really like it if uh, you could change heads sometime. Because I hate the mage heads. And this is the head that he likes to use the most. So it's kind of unfortunate. And there's a train going by. As I'm recording this. But I'm going with it. I don't even care. And here we go. New head time. Uh, no, never mind. Like I said, he likes to use the mage head a lot. So, just expect that to happen. Um, Mario and Bowser are going to be your, your attack unit, obviously. Um... Peach is not going to have much time to do anything. Uh, let's see. Mario on the head. Bowser on the body. Meteor Swarm. Like I said, I'd really like it if um, you could change to a different head soon. That would be nice. Um, like I said, it, it's up to you how you want to go about this fight. Um, if you want to skip uh, going after the body, it's up to you. But, um, alright, here we go. Here's a new one. But, it, it, it leaves you open to other attacks. So, I'm going to... <clears throat> I want to take a little more damage off the off the body. Ah, oh, that's not good. See, as you can see, he's taking much less damage in, in his treasure box head. And now he can't move. Um, I don't know that he actually attacks in this form, though. So... Let's see. Um... I know that his treasure head is weak to fire, so let's see what that does. I'm trying not to use too many of these more expensive um, special attacks. Well, that certainly did do a lot of damage. We do have um, maple syrups and, and honey syrups and all that. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh boy. Well, that's not good. Okay. Do I have... Oh. <laughs> well. That's bad. Oh, 
Well, guess we're just gonna have to re <laughs> rely on our items for a while. I'm not gonna waste that on just the head. Um. Well, can't do anything about it. I think about it. <laughs> yeah, maybe Bowser has something we can use. I really should have thought a little better about... And there goes Peach. Well, that actually might be a good thing. Um, let's do... A pick-me-up on Toadstool. And then that actually heals her, so that's good. Then let's do... Carol, Carol, and everybody. Because we have a bunch of them. Missed! <coughs> and back to the, the mage head. I'm okay with that because at least I have um, an idea how to deal with that. With the tank head, I mean, you have instant kills and that's just all kinds of bad. <coughs> and since we're at full health, just use a rock candy. So, uh, yeah, the reason why I didn't want this fight in a video with another boss fight is because it's going to be a long fight. Expect to be here for a while. Uh, and now time for group hug. <coughs> you just got to you just got to keep it up. You got to keep up the attack, got to keep up your defenses keep Peach healed and all that. Mm. It should be okay. What are we doing now? Back to the tank. Uh -huh. Oh boy. Um, you know what? I feel good about our health. So let's do another rock candy. Take out the body. And that's done. Attack the head. Now it's time for group hug. I mean, this fight is not the hardest fight in the game. Oh, I missed that timing. Well, whatever. Um, as long as you keep up with everything, it shouldn't be too too hard. Oh. Then no, with with their with that, <laughs> we didn't even get to see one of his other heads, which was the mask head. Um, I don't remember what that does. I think it does status effects or something. I don't know. Um, my body and head are burning. It's not possible. I don't believe it. I'm finished. Done for. No. And hooray! We have defeated Smithy in the final star piece is ours! We can fix the star road and everybody can get their wishes back. Come on, Mario. Send the last one way up high. Hooray! The yellow star piece is finally in our possession! And there, it's taken its place with the other star pieces. And now they're all flashing. They've become invincible. The stars have become invincible. Thank you, everyone. The star road is back to normal, and... Oh, what? There they are.
Well, this is interesting. Maybe Gino's going to be invincible now. I don't know. So many stars! <clears throat> Yay! That's happening. I guess with all the star pieces back, Gino's job is done. Oh look, a little, little flashy thingy. Oh my goodness, it's a little tiny itty bitty star. Yay! Let's all try to grab the star. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Gino. Gotta love the music. Yay! <clears throat> oh, but the sword's still stuck there. But now it's disintegrating. And it's going away, and Smithy's gone forever. And his cohorts. And the sky is bright again. Which is weird, because it wasn't bright before when Mario went to rescue Peach. But, but that's neither here or there. <laughs> the star road's all patched up. And I guess each one of these stars is gonna bring us back to a little bit. And look, Milo's become the, the official prince now and is back home with his parents. And he's very, very happy. No more crying. We don't need any rain today. Actually, that's not true. We can always use some rain here in California. Everybody's going crazy about this drought that might or might not be happening. Oh, and look, everybody's patching up Bowser's castle and... What are you doing over there, you crazy shy guy? Get out of Bowser's helicopter thing. Oh, Jonathan. <coughs> Very noble. Oh, and it's Yoshi, and he's racing Croc. He's trying to, trying to cheat, of course. But Yoshi totally beat him. And I guess Croc and Boshi are, are buddies now. And look at Raz and Rainy. Looks like they're having a bit of a, maybe their first married fight. We all, it, it happens. It happens. And Todovsky is now conducting the Tadpole Pond Choir and Frog Fuchsius is the guest soloist. And look at that apprentice hiding up in the corner there. It's like, I don't care, I just want to read. Oh, and look at, would you look at this? Booster and Valentina and Dodo is the... I, I just, I don't know what I just saw there. That's kind of bizarre, but the final star piece is showing us. Yay! All our friends, Mario and Princess and Toad and J Chancellor and Yoshi's there too. Wink. Yay! But we're not done yet. We still got, we got to celebrate. We just helped save everybody's wishes. So, oh look, it's Luigi! Luigi's only appearance in the game. Except for that wish that we looked at earlier. And he's the drum major! Yay for Luigi! I, this... <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this part. So yes, we're going to have a big old parade in Todoski and his mushroom band are playing and there's Prince Mallow and his <laughs> he's got his symbols out and there's Frog Fuchs just hanging out as well with his tadpole friends huh? what 
they all grew legs. Well, that happened. It happens. That's how things work. And that is a big bomb. It really oh, look. It's the little ones that we rescued. I don't think they're supposed to be there. They, it doesn't look like they're supposed to be there. Oh, whatever. Oh, would you look at this? Bowser's actually managed to dislodge his castle and has made it part of the float. And then there's Croc. He can't be up to it. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? What is this? <laughs> and there goes Bowser. He's not happy. Not happy at all. And I wouldn't be either. And there's Valentina. And poor Dodo being forced to carry her float thing, I guess. Oh, and he's getting tired. He needs a break. Oh, and she punched him. She punched him in the face. That was not okay. And here comes Booster on his favorite train. I want to ride on that train. Oh, and the Sniffers are still trying to catch the beetle. Now Booster wants to play. He's like, forget this train. I'm just going to let it go on its own. It, it should be fine, right? It, I mean, nobody really needs to drive that thing. Oh, oh gosh. And now Croc's going after the Sniffets and Booster's got Bowser's thing and all the Beatles are chasing him. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a crazy turn of events. Oh, and these guys... How, who let them in the parade? Nobody invited you guys. Oh, look, here comes all the bosses. And even Smithy. What is Smithy doing here? He's the bad guy. And he just flattened everybody. Well, they did deserve that, I guess. We get that guy out of here. No one wants you in this parade, sir, because you are a jerk. Although... If it weren't for you, I guess we wouldn't really be having a parade, would we? Oh, it's Jonathan, and I don't, well, I guess the parade went a little long. It's a bit... Oh, neat! They added lights. Now, now here is where it kind of turns into... It reminds me of, like, the electrical parade from Disneyland. Even the mushroom guy's hats are flashing... <laughs> Oh my goodness, dude. This is so cute. Oh, and it's a mushroom. All the mushroom people. And look, there's there's a castle in the background. I'm guessing that's that's the mushroom kingdom. Oh look and a flower. And there's Yoshi. Yoshi's giving a free ride to the that other. I think that's the Chancellor. Yeah, that's the Chancellor. You could tell by his little sideways head nod there. And a star with Mario and Princess, the happy couple after having saved the the place, the the land, and everybody's wishes can now come true. And there's what used to be Gino. Everybody wave goodbye. Bye bye, Mario. Bye bye, Princess. See you in the next game. And of course, what would a, a parade be without some fireworks at the end? Well, I guess. Parades and fireworks don't always go together. But it's a celebration, and celebrations should have a, a fireworks display. <sighs> I'm tearing up a little bit here, guys. And we get a mushroom firework. Yay. So there is a little something you can do with that. Um, if you remember in Moville, there's a guy who sells fireworks. If you buy a certain number of fireworks, you can change the 
design at the end there from a mushroom to a flower to a star um, I don't think there's anything else uh, besides those but you have to buy a certain number of fireworks and you can change that and that's it guys that's the end the end of Super Mario RPG um, and I hope you enjoyed this series. It, this was a lot of fun to to play again. This is one of those games. <gasps> oh, yes, and of course, if you if you wait a little bit, we get a little a little surprise music there. Some Mario One music. But yeah, this is a lot of fun to play and just go back to after a great many years. Um, it's. It's a great game if you're not real uh, familiar with the RPG genre. It's a great game to get into RPGs because um, it's 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 easier than most RPGs. It's it's very easy, um, but there's enough in there that will keep um, hardcore RPG fans entertained as well. And plus, it's Mario. You, you can't really go wrong with Mario. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for the main story. There are a few other things that we can do, um, which I will go back and 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 do in a bonus episode. But uh, that'll do it for the main uh, LP. I really hope you enjoyed it because I really enjoyed uh, recording it for you guys. Um, it, uh, it's not a this game. I, check it out if you can. It's a little hard to get a hold of now because it, it's not on Virtual Console. You would have to get the um, you'd have to get the Super Nintendo cartridge or use other methods that are questionable. I'm not going to debate their legality here, but. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is one of the best games that the Super Nintendo had. And you should check it out if you can. <clears throat> but that's the end of this LP. Thank you for watching, and I will see you for the next one.